So I braided my hair overnight using Shea Moisture's Curl and Style Milk and Shea Butter to seal. I did about five braids coming forward over my forehead and about seven braids in the back. So we're just going to take down those bottom three braids. And carefully separate them out to really release that definition and give us a bit more volume. Once that's done, I'm gonna take a small rubber band and create a teeny tiny ponytail as close to the end as possible. Now I'm going to take that section and roll the hair upwards and over, tucking that rubber band in and all of my hair in and securing with some bobby pins. I'm going to do the same with that middle section, taking out the braids separating through them gently and I'm going to add a little rubber band to the end of that and this time I'm going to roll the hair underneath so that it meets the um, bottom section of my hair so the bottom section was rolled upwards and this one is rolled under so you can see that all of that braiding the partings and everything didn't need to be neat at all because we're covering that up Once that's done, I can pull at the sides to kind of almost create a macaroon or pie type shape. So I'm going to take out all of the braids at the front section and again, slowly and gently separating through that. And I'm just going to split out a small section above my ear because you'll see Beyonce had little curly pieces above her ear, so I pulled that out. And I'm just rounding back into a kind of quiff or pompadour and then pinning that into place. And I'm just gonna keep doing that with the entire front section, rolling it backwards into a really loose quiff and pinning it into place. So, so simple. And I'm making sure I did the same thing on the other side, pulling out a piece of hair just above my ear. And now I'm just fluffing at it and making sure it's rounded out, but it really doesn't have to be neat at all. I think the messy kind of country girl look is what we're going for. And I'm pulling out pieces at the back because Beyonce's hair was quite carefree. It was blowing in the wind. And after I finished filming, I actually pulled some pieces out at the front as well. So you can definitely do that so it's a little less neat and more carefree. It looks like you did nothing at all. Well, you practically did, it was so simple. So this is what the back looks like. So you can see absolutely no partings. It's all tucked away and just great and protective. So hair is done. Now onto the makeup. So I actually double moisturized with Simple Kind of Skin Moisturizer and Muji All-in-One Essence. For my foundation, I'm using a sample of YSL's foundation in the shade BD60. I think it's working really well, so I'll probably buy the full thing. So I'm just applying that all over my face. And then I'm blending that in with a damp beauty blender. Next, I'm going in with Max Mineralize Concealer in the shade NC30 and just creating little whiskers underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and to highlight and brighten. 
I'm also using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to cover up my darker marks because it's quite peachy and colour correcting. So any little blemishes and scars I have, I'm just going to cover up. And then I'm going to blend out the whole thing again with my Beauty Blender. Next I'm going to take my Sleek Contour Kit and chisel out some face. So I'm just kind of going right in the hollows of my cheek and I'm also bringing it around in a kind of C shape because I really want to get that natural but really strong face that Beyonce has. Next I'm going to fix up my eyebrows, just combing them and filling in the front section. I'm using Soap & Glory's Archery in Hot Chocolate. I think when I do quite a clean face, I like to have quite a strong brow, which I do think Beyonce has in this video as well. So next I'm using my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Palette and the shade is Salted Caramel and I'm just using that right the way over my eyes. And I'm not sure why I didn't get it, but I also use a little bit underneath my eyes as well. I think soft peaches and browns was really the kind of colour tone that she was using, so that's what I'm trying to do. Again, her makeup was very simple and fresh, so no false lashes here. Just using some Ico Black Magic Mascara to open up my eyes a bit, and I'm using that on my top and bottom lashes. Then I'm going to use Max Pinch Me Blush. It literally is the greatest description because it's as though your cheeks have just been pinched. Really soft, rosy colour. And to highlight, I'm using Laura Mercier's Indiscretion. This is a beautiful colour for medium to dark skin tones because it gives a within the skin kind of glow. It's not an overpowering highlight. It's just sun hitting it, a lot like Beyonce had being on top of that cop car. So I'm just hitting my high points with that, but especially focusing on my cheekbones. Next, for my lips, I'm going to fill in my whole lips using the Iconic Nude Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm actually going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk right in the centre. That's more of a pinky tone. I'm just going to use some tissue to blot that away because I just want it to be like a lip stain. I want everything to kind of look like your face but a little bit better. Right in the centre I'm applying NARS Turkish Delight Gloss. But again, I'm patting that in because I really want it to just be like a lip stain. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. I love Beyonce. I'm still not over formation. It's so empowering. Um, but yeah, I, this is just an inspired look. It's great for your hair because it's protective. This was just a simple roll, tuck and pin. And I kept the makeup very fresh and dewy like hers was as well. And, you know, buttoned up my shirt. I hope you guys like this look. If you do, give it a thumbs up, share with some loved ones and comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching because I slay, you slay, we slay. See you on the next one. Bye. What happened? at the New Orleans.